Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add a sliding announcement bar into your Shopify store. This video is specific for down theme. If you have any other theme, then you can still check the playlist. Maybe you will find any specific video matching with your theme. If you still don't find, then you can contact me. I will help you in that. Currently, you can see that I have installed down theme latest version. Firstly, you should take the backup of this theme. Click on these three dots. Click on duplicate. So in that way, later on, if you stuck somewhere, you can roll it back to its original version. Again, you need to click on these three dots, click on edit code and here we have some files and folders where we need to click on sections, click on add a new section and here you need to write sliding dash announcement dash bar and then click on done. Once you created this section, then you need to delete all the code inside of it. And then I have already attached the link below in the description. You just need to download this file and again need to copy this complete code and paste it in this empty file and then click on save. So now the sliding announcement bar code is already added. Now we need to include this code into the header section. Here you can see layout, then click on theme.liquid. You need to find here somewhere header. Search here header. So inside of body tag, you will see header dash group. Just above it, we need to include that section which we have created just now. The way of including it is like again, curly brace, percentage, open and close and then you need to add here section then inside of single quotes you should write sliding dash announcement dash bar so make sure that this name should match with this section name and once that is correct then once you are hovering over it it will show an arrow that means this section is correctly included now you need to click on save the changes so that's how you have implemented the code. Now we are interested to show that in our front end. You need to go to the dashboard again and then click on customize. Here we have the customize, click on that and you should actually enable that announcement bar first. So currently on our screen, we have an announcement bar which is already by default from our store. You need to disable that. Here is this. And on the top, we have another announcement bar which we need to enable it. Click on that click on show and in that way the new announcement bar will be shown on the top uh, we need to add some messages here for example buy to get one free and if you want you can actually add some uh, emoji also so for say example I am writing here the emoji on the right it is showing again I am going to add another message which is like free shipping worldwide and if you want you can also add one emoji like this one and uh, another message is like premium products only and here is another emoji like this one you can put it you can uh, put emojis according to your need and we can also uh, link a specific product with that for example premium products only if you are interested to uh, connect a link with that you should click here you should click on, on any of the product and here we have some like color t-shirts so once someone is hovering over it the customer will be redirected to that specific uh, link so i will show you once i am previewing that and now we are interested to change some settings so autoplay if you are selecting this option then that means if we are not uh, clicking on these arrows then still this will slide from left to right Another thing is like hide arrows on desktop. For example, right now you can see that these arrows are uh, like left and right, you can see. So if you want to remove these arrows for the desktop, so you can hide them. For example, I'm selecting this, you can see that arrows are disappearing. And if you wanted to keep them, you can disable this checkout, uh, this checkbox. Again, if you are interested to remove these arrows on the mobile view only, you can select this checkbox and it will automatically hide. For now, we are going to keep all these arrows and we have font size, for example, medium, large, you can increase them. Maybe medium is the better one. You can also decrease the uh, increase the speed. For example, sliding speed is five seconds earlier by default. You can keep the, that three seconds. 3000 milliseconds means three seconds and now you can change the background color for example this one is the background color and this is the text color and if you want to make it black you can also keep it like that 
so that's how you can actually add these specific things another thing is like you can see this uh, these arrows on the right if you wanted to reduce the space and making it closer you can, now you can see that these arrows are coming closer and for mobile view also there is separate settings for example in the mobile view these arrows are looking like this if you wanted to reduce you can see that these arrows are now coming closer so we are keeping it at the end for now so that's how these are looking now so let's click on save the changes and let's see its preview here we go now you can see that we have arrows we have messages and this is also sliding automatically you can see that this is sliding after each three seconds can you see this is how it is working so one more thing we can do is we can actually uh, change the direction like horizontal we can make it vertical click on the save changes and let me refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that this is sliding from bottom to top or maybe top to bottom so this is beautiful so that's how you can implement this specific feature into your store if you are facing any issue then you can ask me i will help you in that uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video